Well, I think it's pretty hard. I think it's hard for all of us. I mean, uh, I mean, we come here every day, we grind, we work, and you know, we've been in a lot of games, and somehow, some way, we just can't come up with it, closing them out. So, I mean, just closing out games and trying to figure out stuff. I mean, it could be a whole different season. Uh, we're just a little bit away, uh, so it's definitely hard. Uh, but I think the team. Uh, I've been here for a while. I think the team got a, a really good mindset to like just move forward. It doesn't the builder doesn't feel like we on eight. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of positivity. A lot of people still coming in, coming to work, and you know enjoying and having fun. You mentioned the positivity because there have been times here where you've been a part of losing streaks in the past. Does it feel different this time? The way the team is handling that from a mindset? Uh, I think it is. Uh, I mean, I think it's a credit to uh, Coach Taylor uh, and just the rest of the coaching staff for just you know just keep pushing forward and putting good energy and being positive and uh, you know continue to make things fun for for us as players. When you are zero and eight. What, what's left to play for in the second half of the season, do you think? Uh, pride. I mean, I think that's the, the main thing. Uh, you know, as a competitor, you don't want to go out there and just lay it down. Uh, I know for me personally, uh, I love this game. I give it all I got every time I touch the field. So, uh, and I think a lot of guys, that's how, I mean, you, you won't be successful and you won't reach this level if you wasn't a competitor. And I think at this point in time in your career, uh, kind of just shows uh, what type of person you are. So I think everybody in this room are competitors. Uh, you wouldn't be at this level if you, was, if you wasn't. So I, uh, I think guys will continue to come out here and you know continue to fight. When it's trade deadline day, how curious are you to watch what's happening around the league and inside your own locker room? Uh, man, you know, uh, you just got to control what you control and, you know, just keep your head down. I really don't, I really don't pay attention to the media. Uh, so you, you hear people talking and stuff. So, uh, I mean, when stuff actually happens, mm -hmm. that's when, you know, you get to talk about it. But as far as just rumors and all the other type of stuff, I kind of, you kind of just, you know, keep your ears closed until something, you know, actually happens. Do you think this team needs personnel changes? Uh, you know, that's not my job. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, uh, my job is to play you know, cornerback and do whatever uh, it is to help the team. I mean, I'm not in the personnel, so I'm not, you know, that's not my that's not my call, that's not my decision. So, I mean, uh, they got the right people to make those decisions. So, I mean, whatever uh, decisions are going to be made, uh, uh, it will be for the benefit of the team. With guys trying to get healthy, do you feel like the bye that's week twice. is coming at the right time? Uh, I think it is. Uh, you know, middle of the season, uh, a lot of injuries. Uh, you can get some players back and to help to help the team, uh, you know, get a win. Uh, I think it'd be huge. How are you going to best use the bye week to just kind of recharge, refocus, or do you try to get away from football for a little bit? I uh, definitely uh, got to get away from football. Uh, you know, see your family. You know, enjoy your time home. Uh, do whatever it is to you know, relax so you can come back and be ready to work uh, with these last eight weeks and, you know, just take it one week at a time and just pull out a win. So I think it's, it come at a critical time. Uh, just, with it, you know, the first eight games, you know, we, you know, we're pretty much in seven games, uh, pretty much. So, uh, you know, like I said before, you know, the game could kind of go either way. Kind of the ball just haven't been rolling our way this year. So uh, I think it's a perfect time to get the guys uh, coming back healthy and come back motivated and recharged to, you know, run the rest of the tables to take one week at a time and, you know, make the best of each game.